so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, strippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, coffee gloves of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crust of blackburn butter toast, gristly bits of BP roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall, it raised the roof, it broke the wall, greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last, the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky, and all the neighbors moved away, and none of her friends would come to play. Oh, and finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, Okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state, from New York to Golden Gate. And there, in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate, because the hour is too much late. Remember Sarah Scout and always take the garbage out or compost. <laughs>